Congratulations to the three podium finishers of the Vodafone Italian Grand Prix. Third for BMW Sauber, Robert Kubica. Second for Team McLaren Mercedes, Kimi Raikkonen. And winning Ferrari's 17th race here at Monza and winning the Italian Grand Prix for the fifth time, Michael Schumacher for Scuderia Ferrari Marlboro. Michael, an amazing day, a great start alongside Nick Heidfeldbeck taking second place early on and an emotional scene there on the podium. Yeah. It's been a very special day and uh, to finish it in in this style as we, we have been, been doing today, looking at the championship as well, but much more at what's going to happen somehow in, in future. I mean, there's been a lot of discussion for a lot of time, what concerns my future and so on. And I think uh, all the fans, all the motorsport interested uh, people, they have a right to be explained what's going to happen. I'm sorry it may took longer than some of you wanted, but uh, you have to set a, a moment and you have to find the right moment and we feel this is the right moment. To make it short in a way, this is going to be my last uh, Monza race I'm going to do. At the end of this year, I've decided together with the team that I'm uh, going to retire from, from racing. It has been an exceptional, really exceptional time. What motorsport in more than 30 years has given to me. I really loved every single moment of the good and, and the bad ones. Those ones make life so special. In particular, I should thank my family, starting with obviously my dad, my passed away mum, and uh, obviously my, my wife and my, my kids who at all time supported uh, at what I was doing. And without their support, without their strengths, to survive uh, in this business, in this sport, and to perform, I think it would have been impossible. And I can't be thankful en enough, obviously, to my family, but as well to all my, my mates at the Benetton time, and obviously, especially at the Ferrari days, when I've made so many friends. I have so many great guys in, in that team. And it has been a really tough decision to decide uh, to not work together at this level with all my friends and, and my engineers and, and everybody. I mean, they're just so great. And uh, But one day the day has to come and uh, I felt at a point that this, this is the moment. As well as um, in terms of timing the decision, I thought that it was fair to find that moment that Philippe has a chance to decide his future because I think he's a very great guy. He has been doing a, a very good job to the team, very supportive, really great teammate and uh, there was a moment for him to decide for his future and there was no point uh, for me to take my decision any later than, than his decision had to be taken and this uh, uh, was the conclusion as well of, uh, in a way, my, my future replacement. It's uh, a driver, at some stage the team will tell, but uh, I always was pleased, and I know a long time ago, uh, to hear that he was the person. And now I just uh, like to concentrate on these last three wins and, and make it uh, or finish it in style and hopefully with the championship we've done a big step today for that and I really look forward and I want to thank everybody who has been on my way or supporting me uh, at all stages and there, there have been a lot of people thank you very much I'm sure everyone in Formula 1 wishes you well in that decision Michael now just looking back to this uh, great win today in the early stages behind Kimi of course what were your thoughts at that point? Well, uh, I was hoping that he was uh, stopping a little bit earlier than, than we would do, and so it happened, and uh, the nature of this track is if, if you stop earlier, uh, you obviously lose out because you run heavy against the car who's light, and that was enough to, to get by.
just enough, but you did get by there. And thereafter, it looked to be a race that you were in control. Uh, a slight moment there with Scott Speed, I think, going into the first chicane on lap 31. Lost a little bit of time there, but otherwise, relatively trouble-free. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations again in a race in which Ferrari have taken the lead in the Constructors' Championship. Kimmy, turning to you, a great start and a pressure, of course, from Michael in the early stages of the race. Um, yeah, the start worked very well. I was a little bit concerned about our starting because uh, the previous starts hasn't been exactly good, but the guys did an excellent job to fixing the start system and uh, everything worked well. So I had a good start and uh, I was just trying to go as fast as I could before the first pit stop because I was uh, thinking that they might stop a little bit later. So if I can pull any any cap, uh, we have any chance to, to try to fight for win. But uh, like it turned out, we, we were not quick enough today, but um, it was quite easy second. So in the end, I just slowed down and... Uh, bring the car home and uh, get the second place and uh, unfortunately that was maximum what we could have had today but uh, it is still a good weekend and uh, it's, it's a good way. Congratulations to you. And turning to Robert, on the podium, third place in your third Grand Prix, a fantastic drive, a lot of fuel in the car and unbelievably quick off the line with your teammate Nick Heidfeld. Yeah, I mean, uh, really surprised to finish third. Uh, we know that uh, we had good tyres for this time for the race, not only for qualifying, as this happened in Istanbul. So uh, we were concerning about qualifying, but when we saw that uh, we can be competitive also in qualifying and go easy into quali three, I knew that we have the quite good consistent car for the race, and uh, that's happened. Uh, good start. Uh, unfortunately, I lock for front wheels in the first corner, so I have flat spot and first stint was really difficult, a lot of vibration. Uh, then we changed the tires and uh, it was always a tough race because I have uh, to fight with Felipe and Alonso. And also, you know, mm, lapping guy doesn't help me because I was the first one of the group who lapped them and uh, I lost always one second. And then we just came in out of the second pit stop with uh, Fernando, just side by side. And uh, anyway, he blew up engine and it was really risky because uh, there was oil. Felipe went through, and I have. He, I think he has puncture or something. And uh, then, the the end of the race was quite easy for me. Just to bring the car home and first podium in my life in Formula One. Fantastic result. Well done again. Thank you, Michael. Turning back to the remaining three races, you've told us about your future. Tell us on your about your mindset now as you look ahead to those three closing races in the championship. Now only two points behind Fernando Alonso. I think it is very easy what is my mindset I mean that is uh, it's difficult to say is more focused than ever because I've always been focused uh, on only one thing once I'm in the car and uh, so is it now uh, it's a championship which uh, started difficult uh, in the beginning but we, we returned to it uh, after a, another difficulty mid-season and now we're at uh, two points uh, behind with three races to go so if uh, you go back at Canada, nobody would have thought uh, we could be ever in that position. Now we are, due to some luck, but I mean, if you look at the retirements over the year, it's now equal uh, in a way, and uh, there we are. So 100% focus for the constructor and the Drivers' Championship.